Good afternoon, everybody, and happy, happy Wednesday, or happy, happy hump day. How are you all today? I want to start this live off a little bit special than I normally do, and I want to thank you all who have been sending me birthday messages so far. I am absolutely overwhelmed by your messages, and thank you very much for sending this little girl a lovely birthday wish. Um, wishes, because it really is nice, guys. I really do appreciate it. So, a little bit choked up because of the amount of messages I've had so far today. It's been unbelievable. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Pauline Rogers and I am the face behind Beauty For You. So if you've not watched me before, stick around, see if I give you value or if I resonate with you. And if I do, if you can like the page, send me a friend's request if you like. And if you can share this video around, guys, I would be truly, truly grateful. And if you're watching this on the replay and you'll notice the replay because you won't see that live in the top corner, then please put hashtag hey or hashtag whatever drop me a thumbs drop me a heart let me know you checked into this video and again if you can sprinkle i would be truly, truly grateful and if you're watching me um for the first time let me know where you're watching from because i really do love to see how far and wide these videos get out okay i'm just going to sprinkle myself quickly around and then we're going to get on with today now today's a little bit different schedule to what i was going to do because <laughs> i only found out yesterday quite late in the evening that we have got a special going on until um i'm just trying to think of the time because of the time zone i think it's around about two o'clock on the 10th no the 11th because of the time difference but if you have not seen this before guys we have got on offer our sculpting trio with the brush to do your highlighting your contouring with and it's got in there the steps this is a medium which is probably gonna to be too dark for me but at least we'll be able to see what we're doing um, with the steps on where to do it so if you've never contoured before like me then stick around and we'll see how well this turns out <laughs> but let me just sprinkle myself around and then we will get going so give me my glasses on guys just so I can sprinkle but if you can sprinkle for me I would appreciate it okay so let me get a find myself and a sprinkle because it's been a busy busy day so far and now i've got some time to sort of chill out with you guys on my birthday which is absolutely amazing but as i said we're going to do some contouring where i not do the lazy contouring we're going to do the proper contouring using that contouring pack trio i ain't gonna lie it scares me guys it scares me <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway okay so let me just sprinkle myself around. As I said, if you can sprinkle me around as well, guys, I would appreciate it. So I'll try and be as quick as I can. You know, I know it's my birthday. I don't need to keep telling me it's my birthday. Thank you, Facebook. I do know it is my birthday. Now, good. Are you going to put a picture on my storyline? No. <laughs> Again, a blank grey box. Why do you do this to me? I want a picture. I want a picture. Right. Let's see if we can sprinkle around. So I have not posted on my wall because time has just got away from me i normally i normally do a morning post and i haven't got around to doing it so i do apologize if you were waiting for a morning post and didn't see one today but i've been a bit busy trying to answer all these questions <laughs> all these all these questions all these messages that i've been receiving because it's been absolutely overwhelming guys i do appreciate you guys sending me your love it is absolutely amazing Okay, let's see if we can just go doom, doom, doom. So I'll do this as quick as I can. I can't believe we're Wednesday. Time goes by so quick. Unbelievable. I'm not doing too badly. The groups so far. I've not been too scattered, which is good for a change. So let's see what we can do. So we'll do that one. So if you are watching this on the replay, skip it a couple of minutes because all you're seeing is my top of my head, <laughs> which is not, not not a very good look, I must admit. Um, just can't find my other group. You put all the others in a reasonable place, but this one you have put somewhere else. Where have you put my other one? 
oh, I don't know, will you be kind to me because it's my birthday Facebook group? No, obviously not. Oh, not, 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 not. Okay. What else have we got? Weekend news. Don't want to do that one. Okay. We will leave it at that. We will try and go back to my wall so I don't miss any comments. Hi, Jody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, my Facebook's gone absolutely crazy, but I'm loving it. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it, guys. I love all the attention. It's great. Right. Let's see if I can get back on my wall so that I don't miss any comments from you guys. Okay, we'll part that on one side. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly do my skincare because I've not done my skincare yet. And I've, I've changed, changed it up a little bit because you know if you've been watching me I do the ser I do with my uh, serums and then my eye cream well I'm going to start putting my eye cream to first and then my serums I don't think there's actually a right way or a wrong way I've done everything else I've done my cleanser and my toner I just haven't done my cream so there we've already do this so we are going to use a foundation so can you, if you want to drop me in the comments what foundation you would like me to, like me to see me use but we're going to do contouring. So either the stick, liquid, or the spray, because I don't particularly want to use the powder. But if, give me a give me a quick shout on what foundation you'd like to see me use, and we'll use a foundation. Because I tell you now, guys, my <laughs> my heart is pounding because I have I've had this for over a year, guys, and I've never never ever tempted to contour with it but it's my birthday right so let's do something different on my birthday why not <laughs> let's push the boat out on my birthday <laughs> and use my sculpting trio as i said it's back guys because it has been um disappeared from our line but it has come back as a special for a couple of days i think it's about midnight can't think because obviously the time zone i should have written down the times and i didn't um but you can get it with a 40 percent discount guys so you can get the sculpting trio and the brush together hi jane how are you so i'm just putting my eye cream on and we just leave that to soak in so i always i do my hooded Eye as well guys with this eye cream because I have found that it's actually helping with my hooded eye because as we get older things start to sag a bit if we can firm it all up the better but as I said if you are younger then moi and you're thinking oh, I don't need skincare yet I'm fine you're never too young to start doing skincare guys and you're never too young to use anti aging stuff because you want to hold back time get in there now and keep that firmness and keep that lead that lead elasticity in your skin for as long as you can right so we're going to use our serums so this one is our anti-aging serum that is going to help reduce your fine lines and wrinkles so anywhere where you're aging on your skin, then this is what you need on. So I completely emptied it out, as you can see. Just going to pinch it, drop it in, let go. And then you can see that has totally filled up. Now you only want about half of this um, applicator amount onto your fingers like so. And I just gently rub it between my fingers. And basically you're going to put this anywhere where you have got signs of aging so if you're starting to get the lines here on your moustache down the side of your nose your forehead on your chin anywhere you have got signs of aging then you're going to want the anti-aging serum guys because this is going to help as i said turn back and smooth out those lines before they get any more and I'm actually in love with this because this smells absolutely divine. It really is gorgeous. And it absorbs into the skin very, very quickly, guys. You don't even have to massage it in a lot because already you can put it around your eye area as well. You can go over your eye cream because 
every little bit helps they're designed to work with each other not against each other so this has got pig's blood in it lavender in it and it has got snow mushrooms in it and green tea so that's all going to help to firm up your skin and give you back some elasticity in your skin and reduce those wrinkles and signs of aging so this is part of my daily routine now and then i'm going to go on with the brightening serum now the brightening serum again comes in the same type of bottle again i'm just going to empty it out so you can see and then i'm just going to pinch drop it in let go and that's again filled that right up but again you're only going to want about half the amount from the applicator but girls that's all you're going to need on your hand. It comes in a beautiful bottle as well. Now the anti, the anti, uh, the brightening serum. Put anywhere where you've got any dryness, any dullness. So basically, I just smush it all over. <laughs> and it spells smells even divine. And this has got ingredients in it that's going to help. Uh, protect your skin from your elements so if you're sitting in front of a computer all day or you're out in the sun all day it is going to help protect your skin and replenish it all back so that you are not going to get the dullness and it also helps with your dry if you've got dry skin it also helps with all that and as you can see again that absorbs in so quickly and this one smells like our bright if you if you tried our peelable mask which is our brightening mask guys that smells like that the eye cream um hi louise oh thank you this one smells like our peelable mask and the um anti-aging serum smells like our eye cream but they have got pleasant smells guys they are not heavily perfumed or anyway they absorb into the skin so so quickly and I am in love with them. I do these morning and night. Since these, since I got my hand on these babies on the 18th of August, I got them within a couple of days. I have used these non-stop and I'm in love with them. As I said, everything comes with a love it guarantee, guys. Same as our eye cream comes in this gorgeous box with the little application you can get as well. A nice pop. So these are the targeted parts of our skin range. So you don't have to fill a questionnaire in to get these. You can just get these straight off the website without having to ask what your skin type or whatever is because these are targeted for specific areas the eye cream to reduce your um, dark circles and your uh, bagginess under your eyes tighten this area up reduce your fine lines and wrinkles your dark circles the anti-aging serum it's anywhere on your face where you're showing signs of aging where you're getting wrinkles um it crossed your lip anywhere like that use the anti-aging serum and then the brightening serum for any areas that you are dry or your skin is dull and they are targeted and i'll tell you one thing guys i'm in love with them i've been using them now for a couple of weeks and i'm in love with them all i love them they're part of my routine now okay so just gonna do my last step of my urology which is going to put on my urology uh moisturizer now this one <laughs> i will probably be coming live probably tomorrow and showing you how we mix our urologies because as you can see i'm almost out of my urology so I should probably show you how I mix my moisturisers, how you put your boosters in and mix them up. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. So again, this absorbs into the skin very, very quickly. This is actually tailored to me, this one, because it's got my boosters in it, which I, if I remember rightly, because they last me about four or five months, these jars. I think it's an environmental booster. A hydrating booster because obviously i don't want my skin to dry out i want to keep it hydrated and i think it's had got a elasticity booster in it because again as we get older our skin sags so i want to keep the elasticity in my skin for as long as i can so as you can see that is now all been absorbed okay now nitty gritty part <laughs> for all of you who have just popped on i am going to use the sculpting trio as i said i've had this baby for a year and i've never used it because to tell you the truth highlighting and contouring scares me i do my lazy way of doing things 
but as you can see it comes with a little diagram so it shows you on each one this is for medium but i think that's going to be too dark for me because i think i should have gone for light so i don't know why i picked medium but anyway we're going to use this so you're going to see it probably a bit darker but we'll see how it goes but we're going to contour and highlight with that and as i said this is on our website at the moment guys i have put the link above to it it is a 40 percent discount for this and we got it in light medium and dark and you get this tool which is called the um, contouring brush with it so you get these two with 40 percent saving but only for the next two days guys so for today and tomorrow i'm just trying to think what time it would finish i, I would say to be on the safe side don't leave it any later than midnight tomorrow night, the 10th, to get your hands on this if you want to get your hands on it. Okay, so we're going to prime. So I'm going to use the hydrating primer, um, the mattifying primer, sorry, because I love the way it mattifies my skin. So remember, guys, we have still got my special bundle, which is any foundation, any primer and any face brush of your choice with up to 26% saving. And the reason why it's up to 26% saving because it depends on what foundation you go for because each foundation is a different price and depending what if you go for if you went for the spray foundation that would be up that would be 26% saving if you went for the liquid foundation then again it is still up to about 25 24 something like that because of the difference in price but we're roughly up to 26% saving depending on what foundation you go for. So that's the mattifying primer. Now the mattifying primer is gonna close my pores. It's gonna smooth out my um, skin, it's gonna blur the imperfections, and it's gonna mattify my skin. So you can see it absorbs in very quickly. So we're gonna use the spray foundation, because I love the spray foundation, why not? And my favorite brush, the Kabugi brush. And we are going to get some foundation on so you can see how well this foundation now this couple little squirts onto a kabuki brush guys you got a mirror in that one oh yeah we can use the mirror in the sculpting one and we are just going now to pat this on and already you can see from that side to this side guys how quickly the coverage is on this now the spray foundation is a full coverage guys it's totally buildable it is lightweight you don't even know you have got it on and it gives you a flawless look look at that look at that can you see all the redness and patches here and look so if you have not tried our spray foundation guys now is the time to get it because you get it on the up to 20 percent saving by getting it with your face primer which you should always use a face primer because it's a crime not to prime and if you have used foundations in the past and it hasn't sat properly on your face it's probably because you didn't use a face primer because you should always use a face primer so you can see how much that's covered just that two little squirts so again two little more squirts and we will do the other side of my face because we can't really go around not matching can we <laughs> well we can but we won't but as you can see how quickly the coverage is as i said this is a liquid or spray it was spray and it dries to a, a matte finish guys you can set it with setting powder if you want but to be honest i have not really ever set have ever really had to set the spray foundation because once it sets once it goes to a matte finish it doesn't really move, it doesn't really brush off on my face it doesn't move it stays there do the old snuzzle old eyelids and you can see now how flawless my skin looks but as i said if you want to try this guys and you need a color match then let me know in the comments or send me a message and i will tell you what i need for you for me to color match you or i can send you the link to the virtual try on room on my website which you just upload a selfie of yourself i'll tell you how to take the selfie and you can use the virtual try on room and you can try every single shade of foundation we have virtually to see which one goes with your skin tone. So as you can see, 
that is the spray foundation guys that has given me a completely flawless even tone almost like a photoshop i love it so as i said you can get this with any face brush but i would say get the kabuki brush because i love it and it actually works with all dark foundations and obviously any face primer and we have got the glorious touch primer which is um for all skin types you've got this mattifying one is for more people who've got oily skin because it will mattify your skin but you can use it if you've got dry skin because i do or you can use our hydrating one so i can talk to you about it if you're not sure what found that what skin uh, face primer to go for i can chat with you and we can work out what it is you actually need for your skin so we can do that for you guys we can have a good natter about it and find out what will suit you okay so that's on just going to put my eyebrows on using my eyebrow palette again we have still got these available guys but as i said these are limited edition so i'm just going to use my artist brow brush with the spoolie on the end and we are just going to highlight my eyebrows because as you can see you can see my eyebrow but just if I go over with this, we can highlight them so that they show up more. So basically, I'm just filling in where my eyebrows are. And say a year ago, I didn't even do these on camera because I was scared to do them on camera. But you know what? As the more you do things, the more you push yourself, the more you push yourself out of your comfort zone, the more you learn the easier things to become and they don't have to be identical because your eyebrows are sisters not twins like so now you can carve out an eyebrow with this palette guys you have got the five steps so you've got the light one to go underneath the brown one to go on top that to go underneath um, and then your wax on top but if you if you wanted to get this and you wanted to know the stages to do it, I can give you a diagram, um, step by step diagram diagram on how to use our brow palette. So don't worry if you're not sure. But to be honest, I only just use one because <laughs> I just fill in what I've got. Like so. Right. Okay, enough with the talking point, enough of the talking. Let's do the bit that scares you the most. Right. So as I said. The sculpting trio, as I said, I've had this a year, guys, and I have never used it. So we have got, as you can see, the three colours. So we have got here. So this one, I hope you can see the diagram. That's like almost like my lazy contouring I do across my forehead and your cheekbones. Then this one it shows you to put on your chin, on here, under your eyes, and down your nose and on your forehead. And then this other one, it shows you um again under your eyebrow nose and on the tops of your cheeks so you've got the diagram there guys so it's step by step so let's see how well we can get this done <laughs> so we're going to go on with the first one and we're using the um contouring brush that you can get with this guys as i said it's a special for two days so only until the end of the 10th of this month so you've got today and tomorrow basically so we're going to use as you can see we've got a slanted flat brush so we are going to pick up the first square and then we're going to we can see from the diagram on there where we need to place it so we need to pinpoint where our cheekbones are so it's top of your ear corner of your mouth stop about here so this is where we need to go so we just need to go like that pick some up might help hopefully that's not yet yeah, starting to show because i don't want to go too um much because we're going to blend but can you see the contour and then do the other side I actually thought this was going to come off a lot more than that, actually, but uh, it's quite good. So we're just going to do this one here. The more you get on your brush, the more you're going to pick up. So you can see there. So that's the first diagram. 
for it to go there, there, and then obviously on your hairline up here. As I said, I've never done contouring before, guys, so bear with me. And if you are a makeup artist, I do apologise. You're probably thinking, what the hell are you doing? But, you know, someone's got, we all got to learn somewhere, right? So we're just going to put that in my hairline like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my Kabugi brush. And I'm going to blend with my Kabugi brush back. So can you see now we have got that little bit of definition in our hairline. And we are just going to go up and down on our cheeks just to blend that contouring in there. I'll tell you guys, if you got yourself one of these palettes, you are going to contour and highlight to your old people's home because look, they are huge. So you are not going to run out anytime soon. On this product so if you're thinking oh, if i get it and that runs out i can't replace it this is going to last you a long time okay so as you can see now we have done that stage now i think i'll use a different brush for the next stage so i'm going to use the, the um, concealer brush because this next one we are going to go which is a bit lighter you can see that one there so there's a diagram there if you can see there so we've got chin lower where we put the other one under our eyes down the nose top of our brows and the center of our nose so we are going to pick some of that up and we are going to put some on there Actually, I thought it was going to sharpen me, but it doesn't actually. And we are going to go under where we went before. As I said, guys, I've never done this before. <laughs> so you'll have to let me know at the end whether or not this looked good. Hi, Amanda. And then I'm going to use the other end because it's a bit narrower. And we are going to go down our nose. Like so. And then we are going to go under our eyes. And then we will blend all this out again. So you can probably just about make that out, I think, in the camera, can't you? And then we've got a little bit there on our chin. Chinny, chin, chin. To do okay i'm not going to use the kabuki brush for this one i am going to use a different brush i use this little one and then when we then we're going to just blend their bits so this is why i've never done it because it to me it just seems like a lot of stages to do to get that flawless look but i don't know i don't know if it's working in fact, I think that's showing up more. By doing that, I think it's showing up more of my wrinkles under my eyes, which I don't like. <laughs> I think that's making me look a little bit more older than I want to be. So contouring and highlighting can change your face very, very uh, quite a lot, depending on where you go. So I think what I might do is I might do a little bit setting just on there just to fill them out a bit because I don't like the way I can see those lines can you see them if you're watching give me a thumbs up can you see that that seems a bit more pronounced now than it was a minute ago because I put that highlighter on there or whatever it is I'm not sure what that one is let me put my glasses on that'd be a good idea wouldn't it put my glasses on <laughs> um doesn't actually say actually it says that's the three steps no. but I just think to me that looks like it's sort of like showing up my um, old lady's eyes more <laughs> which you know with the eye cream we want to get rid of them 
don't want to make them more prominent there we see okay just blend that in a bit more we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes we trust the process we will trust the process and see how it goes like so okay and then we have got this third one which again it's a lie I didn't do that other bit did I under didn't do that little bit on there above my that's weird because I don't normally do any highlighting above my eyelash or eyebrow but we do it if it says to do it we will do it just blend that in so is that making any difference let us know what you think guys let us know if you can see any difference but um as I say it's a lot of steps let me see right and then we are going to go on with the last one so i'm just going to clean this brush up because we want to use this one again but obviously we don't want it contaminated with the previous one so i'm just going to use a little bit of my brush cleaner just clean whatever's in that brush out because one good thing about a brush cleaner guys it cleans the brushes out yes i can see the <laughs> you can see the lines yeah thanks <laughs> thanks amanda yeah I'm not sure whether I like to see all these lines. Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Okay, so we're now going to go in with this last one, which is slightly darker than that one, but not as dark as that one. And we're going to use the diagram that comes with it. And we are going to go down my nose with it. And here and here yeah it seems a lot of stages doesn't it that's why i probably like my my lazy way of contouring <laughs> my lazy way of contouring and highlighting because this just seems like a lot of steps so what we're going to do we're going to blend this in i'll use the end of this brush now i'm just going to blend those bits in Feeling quite warm as well. It's gone really warm down here in the southeast today. I'm not complaining. This is not raining on my birthday. It's nice and sunny out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of baking because I just want to get rid of those wrinkles. So I'm going to use my. You can use a blender, a beauty blender, but I'm just going to use my brush because I just want to basically let that powder basically get rid of those lines because I don't want them showing up as much as they are at the moment so we're just gonna bake under our eyes a bit and just fill it in to me that's looking a bit better now so maybe highlighting for me is not the ideal thing to do but you know it could be okay for you so I would say with our sculpting trio guys if you was to get it have an experiment with it because you've got up to 14 days to basically have a play with it and if you are not happy with it you can send it back for a full refund guys so i would say you've got nothing to lose by having a little play now to me that's a lot better where in the southeast do you live i used to be I used to live in Dover. I'm actually in the next town up, Folkestone. Amanda. I am in Folkestone. So about 10 minutes from Dover. Small world. <laughs> yeah, I prefer to use a setting powder because to me, that is how helped reduce my lines under my eyes because obviously I'm not a younger I'm not a young I'm not a youngster but I don't want to have them being prominent I want them more to blend back if you know what I mean because obviously today's my birthday so another year older and if we can take time off years off for the better so I think you agree that's that's reduced those lines which I think is a lot better now so we have basically done 
are contouring. I don't mind the contouring side of this palette, but I don't know so much about the actual using the highlighting part of this palette. So I'm just going to go over with what I've got left in the brush. So I haven't dipped back in again, just to give myself a little bit more, because I like to have a little bit more um, definition on my cheeks. Oh, thank you, Lauren. How are you? It's been a long time since I've seen your name pop up. How are you keeping? How is life treating you? So you can see that is just giving me. So when we use our um, spray foundation, guys, that gives you a complete flawless one tone look. So really, you know, to have a contouring palette is good because then you can put your features back in that you lose when you use the um, full uh, foundation. But yeah, I think we've done pretty good, actually, for the first time. Maybe I'll use that again. Maybe a bit more often, I don't know. We'll see where I can be bothered because <laughs> it's a lot of steps. But I am, I am, you know, I'm it. I am loving the look so far. It is looking good. Uh, and getting there. Lots of things have happened. Set me back a bit. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lauren. Well, I hope, I hope things are settling down for you, sweetheart. <sighs> life, has a, life has a tendency to throw things at us, hasn't it? That is for sure. Yeah, I'm loving that actually, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Right, okay. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. I didn't even get any eyeshadow out. So what have we got made up in the palette? Let's have a look. What have we got in here? Oh, we've got some earthy colours. That'll do. <laughs> we'll use some of these earthy colours because I'm just, I can't even remember what they are. So if you want to know what these are, let me know and I'll pop them out in a sec. But we will go with that. So let's let's use. We we'll use the mirror on this uh, sculpting one, which is a bit weird. Okay, so we're going to get my trend, my fluffy again. <sighs> I need a memo stuck to my head. Pauline, clean your damn brushes, woman. Because whenever I do a live and I come off my live, I think to myself, I right, clean my brushes, I clean my brushes, and not. Definitely agree. My brother passed away last year and his birthday from illness yeah oh i'm sorry to hear that lauren in fact my brother's actually in hospital he's had a stroke so yeah yeah oh i'm so sorry I, you know sorry for your loss sweetheart i don't know it's been nice to have some good news some good things happening in like, people's lives instead of heartache uh, not good. Uh, on his birthday. Oh, blimey. Yeah, my older brother turned 60 on the 2nd of December. I think he passed around the 20th, so it wasn't far off his, off his 60th birthday. It wasn't 60 for long. I don't know. Right, I don't know what these colours are, but we're going to use them anyway. So we're going to go into the lighter one. And we are just going to basically warm up my transition area. Just to warm that eyelid up a little bit. So hopefully you can see that. It's going to be very, very light, that one, guys. But we'll let it roll. In fact, I think the colours on here is earthy and abounding that we are going to use. I don't know. I think this one was called... Discreet, yeah, discreet. So yeah, it come comes to me. Oh, that's a first. I actually remembered something. Maybe my birthday is going to be a turnaround for my brain to actually work. So we're using discreet to warm up our eyelids, which you can just about see. Then we're going to go in with earthy, which is a, like a pecan colour, and we are going to warm up. I'll work it in my crease and in this outer corner so just take your time and just give it let it work let the brush do the work so like that you can see I'm warming that up now if you've got a hooded eye like me guys when I go into my crease I do go a little bit higher, so you can where you can feel your bone. I just go up a little bit higher, so that when I look across, 
you can still see it because if you put it right in the crease and then you look across if you haven't gone up high enough you can't see that color that color disappears completely so if you want it to show so it opens your eye up a little bit more just go that little bit higher with the color you put in, in your crease and again we do the same on this side as I say just work take your time blend it in work it back I always start with less because then I haven't got to blend off if I've got too much because you can always add than take away so it's always best to add a little bit at a time rather than trying to take away so it's the same with our stick foundation less is more do a couple of stripes blend it and if you find that you need a little bit more then add a little bit more rather than just smush so much around bless you hope your brother will be okay my brother suffered from arthritis uh well my brother's got a lot of health issue health issues um and he had a stroke um so yeah he is he is fighting he is fighting for his life So you can see I'm just blending that so you can just see and I can add add more to it if I want to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my blending brush and I'm just going to blend a little bit. So I just want to soften that outer edge up because I don't like any harsh lines. So hopefully you can still see that but I've just blended that in. Then we're going to go in and I'm going to wet my brush if I can find it because it was one here on the table somewhere and I seem to have mislaid it I need a bigger desk I need a bigger desk okay, uh, okay. so I'm just going to use this one and I'm just going to use a bit of rose water because I just want to make the brush a little damp because I'm going to show you which one I'm going to use I'm going to use this one which I think is a bounding you can see it's got glitter so when anything's got glitter like that uh he gave him too many different issues 21 oh my god that's no age at all lauren 21 <sighs> bless that's not good so now I'm just going to, now that my brush is wet, I've just picked up, I think it's called our bounding. I'll pop it out in a second and have a look, but I think it is. And as you can see, I am now placing that on my eyelid. So I'm patting it on because it is a glitter colour. So can you see that? It's glittery. I have a bit of glitter on my birthday. Come on, guys. As I say, I'm going to sit and do my nails this afternoon, I hope. Because I've been meaning to do them for ages and just haven't got around to doing them. So we're just going to pat that in. Because I do love a bit of glitter. I am a glitter girl. And I do love the earthy colours. Because they are so gorgeous. Like so. Can you see that? It's gorgeous. And then what we can do is when we've got that on, is you go back with your brush again and that darker colour that earthy colour you can just go over that corner of your eyelid just sweep it across and up so you're going back in your crease and a little bit above just to blend them in can you see that and that looks gorgeous like so and then do the same on the other side Out. so you can see now we've darkened that out and then when you've darkened that out if you feel that you need to put a little bit more of the glitter on then you can just add a little bit more glitter just to make that a little bit lighter 
so you've got that contrast between light and dark and you've got glitter and a sort of like a matte satin finish look at that and then in clean up that you've got you can just gently clean up under your eye area like so guys look at that Does that look gorgeous oh thank you lauren okay so let me just pop these out just so i can just quickly tell you what i've used because i'm i'm pretty sure i was correct i can get this popped out yeah abounding which is the glitter one transition discreet which i said and then the other one earthy so i was correct and i know that one's optimistic but we're not going to use optimistic today because i don't really need a any more highlight on my face than what i've already got so that's us contoured highlighted eyeshadow foundation brows just left now to do the um lashes so we're going to go on with some primer and then because it's my birthday don't judge me I'm going to use the Twisted because it is my number one favourite out of our, all of our eyeshadow um, lash products, guys. Because I was, I do, I do love the Epic and I do love the 4D, but I just love the Epic Twisted more. So I do love them all, but I'm going to say it: the Epic Twisted is my favourite. And why is it my favourite? I hear you ask or not because of the wands because the epic twisted guys is the same formula as our epic twisted what is different is the fact of those two gorgeous wands that you get with our twisted which I will show you in a sec once I get my lash primer on because like everything else we should prime our eyelashes because priming protects and conditions so that we don't lose our eyelashes and honestly guys when this first came out I was sort of like thinking hmm, maybe maybe not do we need, actually need a lash primer what's a lash primer gonna really do but to be honest the more I use my lash primer which is every day the more I won't be without it because to me, this is like conditioning your hair. You shampoo your hair. If you don't condition it, when you when it's dry, it doesn't feel so smooth. And you could be doing damage to your hair because you're not protecting it. This is the same for your eyelashes. And at the end of the day, guys, it's hair. Okay, twist it. This is what I love, twist it. When I use the primer, there's no set rules, guys. You can leave it to go tacky, you can leave it to go dry, you can have it wet and go straight on with your mascara. I tend to leave it to go tacky for a few minutes. So two wand application. The big wand, you undo the silver bit, pull it out. You don't have to scrape anything off because if you watched me before how I used to scrape the 4D or the Epic because it had too much product on for my little lashes, this one administers the right amount of mascara every time you pull it out. If I can get it to focus. Can you see? Now this is a moulded wand and those spikes are positioned so they actually comb your lashes so you don't need a lash comb but this picks up every single lash that you've got and if you have any problems thanks doll uh -huh. you have got the itty bitty wand that picks up and finds all the little lashes you didn't even know you had now you can use it, the big wand, little wand, little wand, big wand. Entirely up to you. There is no set rule. I would say get this, play with it, see which one works best for you. I used it with the big wand, little wand, but I found I prefer it little wand to big wand. So we're going to take the little wand out. All I do is just give it a little tap on the on thing because you get like a little blob on the end there. Don't have to wipe it off. And then we put it on our lashes. Now all I do guys is I get into my waterline or lash line and I basically comb that wand or blink through my lashes. 
I think you can agree straight away how much nicer my lashes look already. I could do that with me this what I would, might have put the mascara up on my eyeshadow. That doesn't. So I'm just going to go over these because I've got the primer on. I don't want the primer to go too dry. So I'm just going to go over my lashes with a coat of the mascara. But straight away, can you see the difference? But as I said, guys, this little wand is my favourite because it picks up every single lash that I have got and it finds the ones I didn't even know I had. Because how many of you put eye mascara on and thought your eyelashes stopped here? In fact, they stopped right there because it finds them right in the corners, guys. Corner to corner, it finds every single lash that you have got. So as I said, don't take my word for it, guys. You've got the 14 day love it guarantee. Try it, don't like it, send it back. But I'm pretty sure that you will fall in love with this. As I said, that lovely little wand picks up all my lashes. Like so. And then when you've got that on, now normally I would have gone for my lash comb to comb through. Don't need to. Pull that one out. I love the sound it goes. Look at that. Again, I'm just tapping that off the edge, very end. I haven't wiped it. It's got the right amount of mascara on there. And then all I do is just take a little bit of time and basically comb through my lashes with this new wand. Now this is totally buildable guys. If you have tried R4D and you like the fact that you can build your lashes with R4D then you're going to love this as well because this is buildable but without the fibres. Like all lash products, I like to take my time because when you take your time, you get better results. Yeah, some of us tend to put our I put a bit on my nose, that wasn't good, was it? <laughs> products on sometimes a little bit too fast, and we don't savour the moment of the transformation it does to our eyelashes. So what, this is actually impossible guys with this wand to clump your mascara up because it actually combs through and separates those lashes look at that so if I look down now can you see how long my lashes are when I look down to the side just gonna give that a few seconds now you can go back on with a little one and the big one again if you want but obviously I'm going to leave it just there for today because that's enough for me. Just can give that a few seconds just to dry so when I look up I'm not going to put a lash line. But can you see how it's separated my lashes and it's lengthened my lashes. It's found every single lash that I've got. So if you're in the itty bitty lash department like moi then try our new Epic Twisted guys because it is amazing. I love it. Okay, so let's do a little bit of lippy because it is my birthday. So let's put supple on because that's quite a nude colour, which I like. And then that is me done. So we have had a go at using our sculpting trio palette.
which I bought myself a year ago. <laughs> and I finally got around to trying it. Terrible, isn't it? As I said, you probably won't wait a year to try it. You'll get it and use it. So, as I said, guys, this is 40% discount with the contouring brush. These two together save yourself 40%. But this is going to last you for years. So you're going to have years and years and years of contouring and highlighting on your face. And that is my birthday face done, guys. So what do you think? Give us a heart. Give us a love up. Heart, thumbs up. I know what I said there. Um, if you like, as I said, anything I've used, guys, if you've got any questions, but as I said, don't forget, this month's special, any foundation, any primer, face primer, and any brush. Personally, if I was to pick a foundation and a primer, face primer and a brush to start me off, I would go for the mattifying primer, the spray foundation, and the kabuki brush. That would be my favourite. So you could get those two. And then you and save yourself 26%, and then you can get them too and save yourself 40%. So that would give you your entire face without, and then you can add your eyeshadow and mascara afterwards. Entirely up to you guys. But just say, let me know, guys, because honestly, I'm here to help you. So if you've got any questions about how to contour, how to highlight, what foundation colour to go for, then please just drop me a message. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to help you solve your little problems so if you're not sure what color to go for look, just look at those eye colors guys are they not gorgeous i love them so this is my birthday face but i'm going nowhere <laughs> because i'm not even going out so this was all done for you guys and i have absolutely enjoyed it i love coming here i love putting makeup on for you guys to see and chin chat with you so that is my live done for today, guys. I shall go back and obviously answer. <laughs> I've got another three or four messages that's come down, birthday wishes, to reply to. So thank you again for all of those of you who have wished me happy birthday. I really do appreciate it, guys. You have made my day. Um, I felt your love and I appreciate that so much, guys, because it's been absolutely smashing day. Even though I'm not going out, I'm not celebrating with anybody. I have still had a blast because I've had you guys to give me the love and the support and I absolutely appreciate it. So as I said, go and enjoy now the rest of your Wednesday. I will be back here tomorrow. I may even do a contouring because this is going to be around until tomorrow, guys. So I'll probably come back and do some more contouring tomorrow. Um, we'll use a different foundation. Maybe the liquid will stick and then we'll contour with the, with the palette. We'll see. We can do if you've got any suggestions guys just drop it down in the thread and um we'll go from there tomorrow but thanks for watching guys as i said if you are new and you've not seen me before and i resonated with you or you have got value out of this please like my page guys because i am doing a thousand like giveaway so as soon as this page hits a thousand likes i will be doing a post for you guys to um have an entry to that and um if i have resonated with you then please you know, send me a friend's request if we're not friends. And if you can share this to your wall or share this to any groups that you're in, I would be truly, truly grateful, guys, because you would be helping me get the word out there and get this face out there more. And I would appreciate it. And it doesn't cost you anything to sprinkle and share or comment, guys, but it really does help me no end more than you ever no more than you would ever realise. <sighs> Another year older, but still can't brrr, talk properly. <laughs> that's me all over right i'm gonna love you and leave you guys so thank you very much for all your wishes and um thank you for watching me guys i hope you got value out of this and uh, i will catch you tomorrow so thanks for watching guys stay safe take care see you soon bye